While it seems like recording blasphemy, many vocalists hate headphones and would much rather sing in the control room with a handheld stage mic like a Shure SM58. This might not win you any high fidelity awards for vocal sound, but a great performance will trump audio quality any day. Let's look at how it's done. Most stage mics, while certainly not as hi-fi as a multi-thousand dollar vintage Neumann, sound better than you'd think when routed through a high quality microphone preamp, and certainly good enough for just about any recording purpose. An advantage of recording with the stage mic in the control room or in front of your speakers is that it has a much higher immunity to feedback than a high quality condenser mic so you can have the control room monitor level up a little higher. Make sure that the vocalist is facing the monitors for the best rejection. Most studio mics don't work well for handheld use. That's because of their handling noise and the fact that singing into one with it pressed up against the singer's lips will result in a series of extreme pops and distortion. You can still make it work by wrapping the mic in some foam rubber or Sonex and putting a pop filter in the capsule head but you're much better off to just use a tried and true stage mic and hope for the best. There my heart goes again in your arms I'm falling deeper And there's nothing to break me away from this So that's how you record a vocal in the control room. Using a stage mic can give you a lot more monitor level before feedback and probably won't sound all that bad. If you must use a studio mic as a handheld, be sure to wrap it in foam rubber or Sonex to decrease the handling noise, and don't forget to use a pop filter. 